This is a stimulus check update and daily news report. Got some big news to share with you. National debt tops $30 trillion. We'll talk about the $1,400 senior stimulus check. So SSI, how to increase benefits with SSI from $841 to $1,750. There could be a third round of California stimulus checks. I'll give you more info on that. And Joe Manchin hints at what he wants in the new Build Back Better, which is the tax code. And I'll give you some other important updates as well. Hope you're having a terrific Thursday. If if you appreciate the fact-based fast-paced updates hit the like button down below so national debt tops 30 trillion dollars treasury department data shows a new milestone as government spending continues to soar so 30 trillion dollars what does that look like so i found this image right here if we look this is just one trillion dollars you can see the white house an airplane a big uh, tractor trailer truck uh, it's huge. It's huge. That's just one trillion dollars. You can see one person is just one stack of that. Uh, so thirty trillion dollars. I don't even know what's going to happen with that. So companies unexpectedly cut three hundred one thousand jobs in January as Omicron slams market. So private payrolls fell by three hundred one thousand in January and uh, versus the estimate two hundred thousand dollar gain. So jobs market looking really really bad. And then when it comes to a government shutdown, Democrats GOP inch ahead toward potential deal to fund government, avert shutdown. So lawmakers have a February 18th deadline. This time around, compared to other government shutdown potentials, this looks much better. Looks like Democrats and Republicans are actually working together this time around. So we may or may not have a government shutdown. Probably not, though. Looks better this time around. And then let's talk about the senior stimulus checks. So seniors call for stimulus checks as their bills surge. So senior citizens are bearing the brunt of red hot inflation. Uh, let me know if you're suffering from inflation down in the comments below. So a few different numbers here. Uh, fuel oil is about 40% more expensive than last year. Electricity prices grew by 6.3% and natural gas has climbed by nearly 25%. Uh, so basically saying according to CNBC approximately 20% of Americans struggled to pay their energy bill in full at least one time last year and a lot of seniors are suffering more because of the fixed income that they're on. Uh, so also, it says seniors rely on Social Security benefits to make ends meet are bearing the brunt of surging energy prices. Beneficiaries did receive great news last fall when Social Security Administration was approving the 5.9% COLA adjustment, which is about $90 more on average, but still not enough considering that inflation is now 7%. So that's where the demands for stimulus checks are in terms of the Senior Citizen Stimulus Check uh, by the Senior Citizens League. Uh, they have been trying to call for that they have the petition for the $1,400 stimulus check for seniors although it hasn't gone anywhere they're putting out a lot of publications trying to lobby congress members but it's just not moving forward uh, also food stamps 12 states announced extra 95 dollars in snap for february Fe this february 12 states have announced they'll be extending their emergency food stamps to residents who qualify all right, so let's get to the 12 states. So they're right here. I can read them really quick. Alabama, Iowa, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, New Jersey, Oregon, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Virginia, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. Those are the states that are increasing uh, their SNAP an extra $95. Let me know. If you're on SNAP, will an extra $95 help you out for the month? Is this good, bad? Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Should be more. Or is that a good amount? Uh, then also, how to increase benefits with SSI from $800. $41 to $1,750. So what it's talking about here is that uh, anyone single can now receive SSI in 2022. It's going to be $841. That's the new number. And then married couples can see $1,261. And where that $1,750 comes from, uh, it doesn't really make much sense. All it says here is most people that can get SSI may also get other benefits that they can add up to $1,750 per month. Not saying which other benefits, but it's saying if you have your SSI at, 18, at 841, then you include other benefits and get to 1750. At least that's just what the article says. Uh, when it comes to California, so Californians could see another stimulus check due to state's budget surplus. California just has so much money, they don't know what to do with it. They're giving multiple stimulus checks to their residents. Here's a video clip talking more about that. 
There is a push to send out more Golden State stimulus checks. Some state lawmakers say the legislature should consider sending cash to Californians with the state's budget surplus. Our Capitol Bureau reporter Ashley. What are your thoughts on that? Should other states give out stimulus checks and be as generous as California? Let me know down in the comments below. California has a huge booming economy. I think it's the fourth largest economy in the world. So if California was an, was an actual country, it would be the fourth or fifth highest in the entire world world, which is insane to think about. Uh, next, let's move on. So Joe Manchin gave a fresh hint on what he wants from a skinny Build Back Better. He said, just fix the tax code. So Senator Joe Manchin just gave a hint at what he wants to see in a new spending bill. He told reporters on Wednesday, yesterday, just fix the tax code, just fix the taxes. Manchin said he wants to roll back the 2017 tax cuts, but Senator Kirsten Cinema has objected to raising some taxes. So the two people who are opposing everything the Democrats are doing are now opposing each other. It's almost like uh, they're in sync. I was thinking you should have a name for both of them since they're kind of going against the Democratic Party. What do you think about uh, Med Cinema or something, something like that? All right, so anyways, here is a video clip talking more about Joe Manchin as well as the Republican perspective on the Build Back Better bill. Carl Rove is here, former deputy chief of staff to President George W. Bush, also a Fox contributor. Carl, I saw Larry, I was talking to him by the coffee machine earlier, and I told him I was going to quote him, and I thought, I'll do him one better. I'll just roll the tape. But do the Democrats know it's dead? Are they paying attention? I think they figured that out a little while <laughs> ago, and now they're trying to figure out how to resurrect parts of it and to see if there's anything that uh, Senator Manchin would go for. But... Um, Build Back Better as we knew it is dead. Will he go for any of it? Well, he's indicated an openness to some elements, for example, the child tax credit, but the child tax credit is written in the Build Back Better bill. If you ran it for a, a, a 10 years rather than one year like they had it in the bill, would chew up all the $1.7 trillion in additional revenue they came up with. So, uh, you know, he has said, I want a work requirement, and I don't want it to be available to people who make more than $75,000 a year. And Democrats want it to be a universal benefit because they want to hook us all on getting a check from the government on a regular basis that they can claim credit for. So, I, I, you know, look, I, something may happen. But I think it's highly unlikely that we'll, we will not see Build Back Better, and it's highly unlikely that we'll see something of the $1.7 trillion cost that they were talking about. Well, you have inflation running at the hottest pace in nearly 40 years. You have a national debt that just hit, what, $30 trillion. Do they not, on the fiscal side of it, the Democrats, do they not realize that they're part of the problem because Biden has tried to start pointing the finger at Jay Powell over at the Federal Reserve, even talking about the dual mandate at the Fed. Well, I'm not quite clear that Biden really understands that beside read, reading it out of a teleprompter. But they, it just seems uh, out of this world that they would tr still try to spend money when the real problem for Americans is inflation and wages that are falling when adjusting for that. Yeah, well, look, uh, they're pointing at the wrong problem. The president said, well, the problem is the concentration in the meat industry or, right. you know, uh, you know, big companies, uh, you know, corporations. And we all, you know, ordinary Americans understand what's happening. The, if the, our currency is being devalued. We're spending money we don't have. We're borrowing money from the future in order to pay for these things. We're expanding the currency, expanding the money supply dramatically. And as a result, the value of the dollar is declining. Uh, we're, we're stimulating demand so that there's more money chasing fewer items. And what the result of that is going to be inflation. And people know that. And, and they want, that's why he's getting such lousy marks on the, 69% on, uh, of the people disapprove of his handling of inflation. At the, and, 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 and almost as many, 50 some odd percent, mm -hmm. dis, uh, disapprove of his handling of the economy. So even though we got economic growth and supposedly we've got jobs and people are coming back after COVID, nonetheless, people are not attributing the good things to him. They're, contribu they're, they're attributing the bad things to him, and they're probably right in doing that. And they, all the people in Biden, within Biden and company, they seem to, they clearly have their noses out of joint about, we're not getting enough credit for this oh. record job creation. Biden tweeted this morning, well, the, the, he didn't clearly, but it was the president of the United States' Twitter account, 
2021 was the greatest year of job growth in American history. And I saw that and thought, well, we're still 3.6 million jobs short of the pre-pandemic levels. And as I said, inflation's at a 40-year high and wages are falling, real wages. Yeah, look, we're, we're, we're not dumb. People know what's, to the degree that we've got the good things happening, it's because the private sector is struggling to come back and succeeding. But yeah, you're right. We know of people in our lives who've not gotten back to work and, and, and have gotten a good job. We know of people in our lives who, who are struggling because their wages are not keeping up with right. the, the, the cost of the grocery store. We all know if we go to the pump or the grocery store that prices are significantly higher and that they're generally much higher. We get an increase in our wages maybe once a year. We're paying higher prices every month at the grocery store. We're not dumb. And the fact that the administration, particularly this White House, doesn't seem mm -hmm. to understand that means their communication failures are going to continue. They're going to continue as long as they're talking about something the American people are not talking right. about and aren't as concerned with and when they don't seem to understand the facts that we understand. I have, a th I have an idea. And you, if the Democrats really, if Joe Biden and the Democratic leadership, they could, if they really cared about inflation, and cared about uh, falling real wages. They could actually take the stance, and it would turn the party on its head, potentially. They, they love raising taxes, but they could be for raising revenue and cutting spending and cutting. And if they did that, it would take some of the heat off the Federal Reserve. And it would help if you force people to get back to work. You know, the, the student loan payment delay, that's putting more money in people's pockets. You start cutting, you'd be about higher taxes and cutting spending. That'd be a new Democratic Party, and it would help fight inflation, but they won't do it. Yeah, they won't because they can't get the votes to get it done without having virtually every Republican and a handful of loyal Democrats vote for it. You know, you mentioned the, 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 uh, the, the uh, moratorium on student loan paybacks. Think about that. We're taking money from a working man or working woman who has never gone to college in order to cover the interest costs of a loan that we gave to somebody who went to, to, to college and is in all likelihood making more money as a result of that. I mean, talk about screwed up. I mean, every study we have mm -hmm. is that the, these moratoriums on student loans and student loan forgiveness benefit people who, uh, inordinately who are at the upper scale yep. in, in, our, in our country and not at the lower scale or even in the middle scale. Right. Carl Rove, you're the best. What are your thoughts on the Republican perspective for the Build Back Better bill and their stance on Joe Manchin? Do you agree, disagree? Let me know your thoughts on all that down in the comments below. And that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully brighten your day a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hey guys, this is Bella. This is the tip of the day. I want to tell you something that you should really use. If if you're like the pool of something and you like you get hurt or something, you should. Just try to try your best because sometimes that happens to me too. And uh, it's not really fun. But um but if you get but if you got hurt like that one time, I'm sure you could deal with it and you can be strong and powerful like how you are. So bye! Hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Here is a quick little clip from this morning. So my wife uh, gets up and leaves the house around 6, 6.30 or so. And so my daughter Bella wanted to say goodbye to her and kind of went downstairs, fell asleep uh, as Christine was getting ready to go to work. So that was her just sleeping on the little beanbag we have. Uh, hopefully you have a great rest of your day. If you want to check out my latest videos on my other channels, you could click up here and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.